Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. Um, I'd like to welcome you to the I2B2 Transmart Harvard Symposium for 2020. Um, my name is Diane Keough. I'm the executive director of the, of the foundation. So I know lots of you have been uh, very busy and working from home for the past uh, three months, um, as, as we have as well. And we've really had to change our focus on our activities um, quickly over the past 90 days to focus on uh, COVID research. We had to move our symposium from an in-person symposium um, at Harvard to, uh, to a virtual symposium. I, I hope this goes well. This is our first virtual um, symposium. I'm sure we'll learn from this. Um, and we also jumped into supporting a, a consortium, a 4C consortium that um, was spearheaded by Zach Pohani um, that was uh, focused on um, primarily I2B2 um, users to uh, contribute data around COVID positive patients. And you'll hear more about that, a very exciting consortium um, indeed. Um, also within the last uh, 90 days, uh, we responded to a Dell Technology Initiative on COVID-19 and received a, a very generous grant from Dell um, to support three COVID-19 related projects. And we'll talk to you about those uh, in a little more detail as well. Um, I, need, I, I have to start out by thanking our event sponsors. These are organizations that have contributed uh, time or, or, uh, or money to, uh, to help us bring you this program and uh, shout out to all, all uh, four of them. We wanna do something a little bit different this year. Um, you know, one of the things that we're missing from a virtual conference is um, just the whole networking aspect, um, which, is, which is so rich and important. So we wanted to, to try to put together a virtual poster session. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna use the, um, the foundation Slack channel as a way to allow you to post your, um, to upload your posters um, so you can start to interact with, um, with uh, other participants um, of the conference. Um, I, we, I think we have a number of posters already um, that have been posted, but you can submit your posters throughout the day. So we will have the, the link to join the Slack and also how to, um, to post the, the posters moving forward. Um, I hope, you know, we, we announced this a little late in the game, um, but I think that this is something that we really wanna promote um, moving forward. We are going to be um, actively um, uh, tweeting um, about, throughout uh, uh, the next two days. So please follow us on Twitter at I2B2Transmart, um, hashtag I2B2TS, June uh, 2020. So I want to give you just a little bit of a, I know the, the, the agenda is on the website. You probably have taken a look at it, but I just want to give a quick um, run through um, so you, uh, you can uh, plan your day and, and figure out what sessions you want to really focus on. Um, following uh, the intro, um, um, Zach Wahani will kick, will kick this off, the, the intro, and then he'll lead right into session two, which is um, more information about the 4C consortium that I mentioned. Um, uh, Zach and a number of his colleagues will uh, jump in and talk about um, how, they, how they access the data, what they've done to date, and also um, more about phase two planning. Um, a, very, a very exciting, very um, amazing how fast um, they were able to pull this together. So that is great. Um, we'll take a break and then we'll talk um, for a little bit at a, kind of a high level about the, the projects that have been funded by Dell Technology to support um, I2B2 um, profiles, a COVID profiles project, and then also setting up a, a COVID um, instance of Transmart. Um, our keynote speaker is, um, you're not gonna wanna miss this, uh, John Wilbanks. Um, from Sage Bio Networks, will be talking about um, build sharing on a spectrum. So data sharing is always a, a really hot, complicated pro, uh, topic. And um, John will do a wonderful job talking about building an ethical data commons in a pandemic. Um, we'll take a lunch break. And then the, we have a panel, session four is a panel talking about um, Re national and regional networks. Um, this was something that we actually pulled together before we even knew about COVID. Uh, but now they're, they're, they're gonna be talking about how those networks are responding to COVID-19. So don't wanna miss that. 
session five is, um, is really five separate um, topics um, covering um, things around COVID-19 um, as, as well as a, a few others. Um, I won't go into them in a lot of detail, um, but please um, take a peek. They're 25 minute um, slots, so please um, stay tuned for those. Um, and then session six, six we're going to end with um, a foundation technology and platform forum update. Um, this is really talking about our, our Committee on Technology run by Griffin Weber. Um, it will give you a better idea of um, how, what, we're, what we're thinking about, where we're going from a, a strategic standpoint. And then we will dive into the I2B2 roadmap and the Transmart roadmap, which is a little bit um, nearer term. So um, this is something that everybody is always very interested in. I hope you stay tuned and, um, and please you know, ask questions um, throughout the day. So the second day is going to be um, broken out into two sections. One is the user interface groups, um, the user interface working group, ontology working group, and the ETL working group. Um, these are working groups that are uh, part of the foundation. They meet on a monthly basis. They, they talk about um, lots of different things and they share a lot of information. So they will be reporting out on their work. Um, the second half of the day um, for the last four hours is really a separate breakout session focused on the ACT network. Um, we, we realize that <clears throat> we'll have lots of people attending this that are outside of ACT that are just curious about it. So they'll start out with um, an overview of ACT so people will understand um, a little bit more about that network. Um, then they'll start to talk about where they're going um, around the support of COVID. Um, they've also developed a, uh, a really, really spectacular um, new user interface that's, uh, that will be rolled out within literally within weeks. So you'll see a demo of that, um, pretty exciting. Um, and then they'll have a panel of a number of their users um, talking about their, um, how they support their local users around, um, around ACT and how they support their, you know, how they weave the ACT support into the, um, the other uh, research support that they're providing. So that is our um, agenda. Um, I just want to give you one logistics. Uh, this is, I know you've, you've all been living in Zoom for the past 90 days and probably very comfortable with it. Um, this is Zoom webinar and the key difference between the regular Zoom and the webinar Zoom is that there's a question and answer box and a chat box. So use the question box if you'd like to um, ask the speaker a question. Um, we'll try to get to as many questions as possible. Um, we may unmute you if you um, want to elaborate um, uh, more. So um, please stay tuned for that. Um, and use the chat box for general comments or just sharing information. Okay, um, certainly raise your hand if you want to talk and we'll try to get to you. And we are, we are going to really try to keep the agenda on schedule. Um, I think you really have to have to do that with the webinar because I think people are going to be really focusing on different um, topics. So um, we will we will alert the um, the speaker when they're running up up to the the end of their talk. Um, so that is my um, overview.